I have a relentless itch to see where I can improve my performance even by just 1% when it comes to gaming. Whether that's upgrading my computer components, trying a new mouse or keyboard, reducing input lag, practicing various aim training routines, or just tinkering with my mouse settings, my grip, or my sensitivity. Today's project is one that I've had my eyes on for a long time, and that's upgrading the feet on my mouse to get a more consistent and smooth glide. The feet I decided to go with are ceramic mouse skates made by a company called Lexip. I'll leave a link to check them out on Amazon in the description. I had two major concerns about this project before I started. The first was that these feet are circular, but the stock feet on my mouse, the Ponage Ultra Custom, are more of a triangular shape, and there's a little bed that they sit in that has some raised edges. I did some research beforehand and didn't really find a whole lot to go by. However, I decided to give it a shot and I'm happy to report that this didn't seem to cause any issues with my particular situation. The other potential problem that I was worried about is that these feet can be taller than the stock feet on many mice, and that can impact your mouse's ability to detect movement on the mouse surface. This is a concept called liftoff distance. Some mice have adjustments that you can make in the software to adjust for small changes in liftoff distance, while with other mice you might just be out of luck. So do your homework before you attempt to replace your mouse feet. Let's get into the process of actually replacing the skates. The first step after unboxing all of the parts is to remove your existing mouse feet. I used an electric blow dryer to heat up the adhesive material that connects the old feet to the mouse. Then I used a small nail file to get under the feet and lift them off carefully. This part seems scarier than it really was. The trick was to get the pads just hot enough that they come off easily, but not damage the mouse with too much heat. I think I probably spent about 10 to 15 seconds per foot to heat them up. The next step is to take a pad with rubbing alcohol and thoroughly clean off any adhesive residue. Luckily for me, this was not a tough job because the old feet came off pretty easily. At first, I decided to leave the middle mouse foot that surrounds the mouse sensor as is, but eventually I decided to remove that one as well. Once the mouse is cleaned and prepped, you're ready to apply the new skates. Use alcohol again to clean the flat side of the ceramic feet so that the new adhesive will work properly. Ideally, you don't want any dirt or debris when you're installing these. The next step is to take the small 3M circular adhesive pads and apply them to the ceramic feet. I found this to be by far the most frustrating part of the whole job. The method I used was to first remove the circular adhesive pads from the paper and then apply that sticky side to the ceramic foot. Press firmly to make sure that there's a really strong connection. Also make sure you're applying these to the flat side of the ceramic feet. Then gently peel away the protective paper on the other side of the adhesive to reveal a thin, clear, sticky film. This part was pretty frustrating, but after working at it little by little, you'll get the hang of it. After getting one done and figuring out how it works, the rest should go much easier. Next step is to firmly press the new ceramic mouse foot into the base of the mouse, with the sticky side against the mouse. You need to be really careful here to be as accurate as possible, because redoing this step will be a pain and you might run out of those 3M adhesives. For the Ponage Ultra Custom Mouse, I decided to put four skates where the original feet were located first and test that out. It glided pretty well, and I could have just stopped there, but it seemed like maybe it wasn't perfectly balanced, and I decided to add the two additional feet to the middle of the mouse at the edges. Honestly, at first I wasn't sure what to think of these feet. They slide pretty well, but it wasn't nearly as crazy as some of the videos I had seen online. Part of this might be that the mouse pad I'm using is fairly worn in the middle from a ton of use. I'm replacing it soon with a fresh pad that should help with the consistency quite a bit. I compared the glide to my other favorite mouse, the Glorious Model D. Side by side, I think the ceramic feet are definitely a little bit smoother. In-game is where I noticed the biggest difference. It seems like there's very little friction when starting to either change direction with the mouse or when starting to move from a dead stop. In my second attempt with the new skates, I set a new high score on LG Pin Practice 360, one of my favorite aim training routines in Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer. In-game, the skates feel really, really nice. I can't quite explain how effortless it feels to move the mouse around with these ceramic feet. It almost makes my soft cloth mouse pad feel like a hard pad. It feels like pushing a piece of melting ice around on a smooth surface. There's almost zero friction to it. I suppose time will tell if I still like these feet in a few weeks, and I'll try to come back and answer your questions over time. So far though, I'm really happy with the results of this experiment, and if you're the tinkering type, I'd recommend giving it a shot. Just make sure that you do some research online first to make sure that they work with your particular mouse. As I mentioned before, I'll have a link in the description to check these feet out on Amazon. And if you do decide to purchase through my link, it will help the channel out, which I appreciate. Let me know in the comments, what gear experiment would you like to see me try next? The one I have my eye on most is building a custom mechanical keyboard. That's all for now. Catch you guys next time.